My name is Don Shaw, and uh, I've been a Granby resident for 50 years and a member of the Camera Club and enjoy taking pictures too. Uh, the next property is Mary Edwards Mountain property, and this is just a delightful place to, uh, as many of you know, because you, if you live on Mountain Road or past Mountain Road or whatever, it's just got some gorgeous views. Donated by Mary Edwards uh, back in 2000. The whole trail miles is three, almost four miles. This picture on the left is, uh, it's called Mary's Rock, where, where there's an iconic picture of Mary standing on the rock because that's where she used to play as a child up on that property. And then as you look at this map, uh, you'll see there's a lot of different trails. Uh, on the map, you'll see uh, the trails in yellow and red, and then those dotted yellow lines, those are all uh, stone walls that are just pervasive throughout the properties. And they tell a story that, uh, in and of themselves. So many of them are overgrown with trees and things like that, but still it gives you a sense of what's, what was happening there. And then in the lower uh, right-hand corner is the pond on Mary Edwards' property, and that's, that's always active in the spring or all throughout the year with uh, wildlife activities activity, birds, frogs, and uh, waterfowl. This is a spectacular shot uh, during the day when the cloud cover came, broke and just cast light in the foreground and it's really dramatic lighting you can get sometimes and then that's the city of Springfield off in the distance. So you get a nice eastern, primarily eastern view from, from the property, a little bit north, but mostly east. And you can look to the mountain range, Mount Town Mountain Range up over here as you uh, stop by. And then in the fall, this is the pond. And there's a, uh, there's a bench down there. And you just hike down to the bench. Uh, again, bring, bring a trekking pole because sometimes it can get a little muddy and slippery. So, uh, but you can do it. <laughs> and just sit by the pond and, and watch the activity and look at the colors. Also, you're going to, you have the opportunity to get some great vistas. One on the right, I believe, I'm not sure, I think it's a sunrise. I, wonderful lighting captured there. And then the, this is a moonrise taken one November. The, uh, it was at dusk, so that's why you get these purple and blue hues in the photo. But it's coming up through that iconic sugar maple that's on the property uh, that you see. So, uh, in fact, there's a full moon this Saturday. So it's called the snow moon. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some snow. But one thing that I've observed over the years is that as the sun comes up or the, uh, or the moon comes up and people want to see that, Park along Mountain Road, or the little parking lot right up there, because I've been up there uh, photographing the moon and sunrises, and people just stop and just enjoy the view. You don't have to get out of your car. <laughs> so, especially Saturday, it's, it's going to be cold, so it's always fun. People just stop and stare. Some more views, uh, looking at the clouds down from the view. And then these pictures are of Ringbrook as it winds its way through the Mary Edwards property and provides some fascinating opportunities to get good images of water and waterfalls. And then whoever contributed this, this is wonderful. This is a really a monochromatic snowscape, if you will, with the uh, snow and frost. And again, you're looking east from the parking lot area, basically, or the entrance to Mary Edwards. And then, uh, you know, some folks can get creative. There's some bridges that, uh, as you see in the right-hand corner, are looking at the sunrise as it's coming up through the trees or the cattails at the pond. And then some more winter shots. This is a couple that is at sunrise. They are snowshoeing across the upper field. And down below that is the pond, and I think they went down to the pond that day. And then, of course, you can take a picture of the, what I always call is the iconic sugar maple in, the, in this photo. Then, if you're lucky enough to be up there when the, when that, when the, when the rains subside after a storm, you, the person that took this photo just got a wonderful opportunity to take a double rainbow. And, of course, you get a little glimpse of Springfield off to the right in the far distance. And then uh, a tree in the fall, the, that maple tree with, in full color, it looks like sunrise. And then some more shots. Yeah, just dramatic shots that are, uh, you, you're able to take up there and get some great images.